Chris with Nichols Retirement Empire. Um, got a few tools out here. I'm going to see which ones I need to use because I'm going to try to take these old um, fence panels and uh, I need something to make me uh, some more raised bed or just expand my raised bed areas. So this is going to be an experiment. I'm going to see if this works out or not. Um, you know, I don't want to spend any money. There's my rails. So what I'm planning on doing, this ought to work out just fine. Here is the uh, idea. And I just added this to the side of my... Okay, the plan is... Um, come back with a little bit of dirt on top of that and then uh, that should give me plenty of space mm. morning guys it's Chris Nichols retirement Empire we are uh, gonna plant some seeds this morning I got some of my fall stuff I'm gonna try I normally have not done this in the past uh, but watching a lot of these other guys on YouTube, they're planting two crops and stuff, or not two crops, but you know, they're filling crops in. Uh, so I'm going to try this out. We'll see how this works for me. Um, let's take a look at the seeds that we've got. Uh, also, I didn't know this, but apparently all these stores get rid of their seeds about this time of year, which I had no, I mean, I went down to Tractor Supply and I couldn't get any, uh, I wanted to get some uh, Crowder peas. Uh, Cause they're hard to find at the grocery store, and I've been, you know, with the stuff I've been looking at, they tell you how peas really help, uh, you know, replenish nitrogen in the soil. But I uh, couldn't get any peas, couldn't eat Crowder peas, um, and then they didn't have any seeds at all at Tractor Supply. They didn't have any seeds at all at Walmart. Uh, so I finally got down to um, where did I go? Oh, I went to Home Depot and finally found these seeds, and a couple of these were things that I wanted to grow. Um, so let's look, let's take a look, see what we got. Okay, the first thing, I'm going to grow some spinach, because it does not take very long to grow. Um, and it says we're supposed to put these about 12 to 6 inches apart, and I have a little plan for those. Um, there's one of the seeds, so you can see what that looks like. Um, collards, now this is the one that, you know, you traditionally we'll see grown here uh, and we love collard greens so uh, I'm gonna grow some collards and there is a collard seed I'm gonna plant this a little differently than what they recommend here and I will tell you why um, but anyway there's a collard and the collard seeds uh, these are supposed to be able to harvest in about 70 days the spinach you're supposed to be able to harvest in about 45 okay uh, and I'm also going to grow some beets. Now, I, this is the these are the only beets they had, because I probably would not have picked Detroit dark red <laughs> beets. I mean, this is the South. I would have picked some other kind of. But anyway, I'm sure they're good. They look awesome on the front. Uh, but anyway, uh, we'll grow our Detroit dark red beets. There's the seed. Kind of a weird looking seed. Like I said, I've never grown beets before. Um, and it says we're supposed to plant these, um, uh, it says we get 60 days to harvest, and we're supposed to plant these about, does that say, okay, about three inches apart, okay, so I got the idea for probably how I'm going to do those two, and, uh, and I'm going to grow some peas, now these were the only peas that I could find in uh, the store. 
I mean, they had some beans, but they didn't have any peas. I was hoping they'd have some uh, some crowder peas. But anyway, these would be good. These are uh, sugar snap peas. And um, of course, obviously, there's the seed for that. That's not a surprise. So let's go uh, see what we got. Okay, I'm gonna take these two squares right here. And this is gonna be where my spinach is. Okay, you can see what I do is I just go in there with my finger and I poke these little holes. Every, it's supposed to be every six inches. So all I'm gonna do is I'm going to put a seed in every hole and cover it up pretty easy. That way I can see where all the holes are. And this ground's real soft because this is all new topsoil I put in here to, for these new beds. Now, I'm gonna plant this these two squares and a couple of squares over here with collards. All I do with these is I put these in my hand and then I just kind of sprinkle these around. Try to make sure they just get everywhere. Then I'm gonna take my rake and I'm gonna kind of scoop them around a little bit, you know, rake them around a little bit. Um, I don't like them to be real spread out. Uh, from what I understand, Tammy's uh, father grows these. And he says if you really spread them out, what happens is they get big stalks on them and they get bigger. I really want my collars to be smaller because they're, they're more tender when they're small. So I'm gonna spread them out by hand, rake them around a little bit and let that, I got them spread in there. And I'm just gonna take my rake and kind of rake around here a little bit. And just make sure, yeah, that generally these are gonna be covered up. And they're not all gonna get covered up. Obviously, they're not all gonna germinate. But it's $1.35, and uh, you can go check out what the price is for collard greens. They're more than $1.35. So we'll see what I get. Okay, my beets, you see I've poked my little holes. And I'll do them the same way that I did my other stuff. I'll have like my little hole. I'll put a seed in the hole and just come back and just cover it up. And that's how I'll do these. I'll just do one seed in these. The uh, spinach, I put two or three seeds in. Also got some cantaloupe seeds. My cantaloupe did terrible. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I made some mounds here. I made me three little mounds with some good topsoil for my yard. And this is just outside of my little garden area. So I'm just gonna take two or three seeds. And I know it's kind of late to try to grow cantaloupe, but I got some seeds. Uh, you know, and it depends on how the weather does. They, they might live. So I'm gonna throw these out here too. Now, I've got a little space back here where I took out this cantaloupe. I'm gonna put four peas back here. And I've got a little space over here where my hay was sitting. And I'm gonna put about three or four peas back here. Two, three, four. 